Okay, so here I'm hopping into the video to explain you guys what I'll be doing for iftar. First of all, as you guys saw from the earlier clips, I uh, made some chocolate strawberries for dessert after iftar and after tarawih as well. I love to have some tea time and some dessert. So that is that. Um, and for iftar, so, okay, so these are the fillings. This is a meat filling for mom and my dad. And this is chicken and cheese filling for me and my brother uh, we love chicken and then this is like uh i don't know if you guys do it but whenever my mom does oh by the way we're making samosa <laughs> i forgot to tell you guys what i was making i'm making samosa i'm not sure if it's like an authentic uh samosa like you guys see in uh, videos and stuff but this is how we do we've been doing for 20 years now um especially during ramadan but yeah um this is i will basically put this like on the top after it's done it's egg and a little bit of milk and this one okay so my mom told me this there's yogurt and some sparkling water in it before i will add the filling i have to like kind of uh put that on the what you call this uh dough I, I believe i don't know um and then after putting that i will add the filling and that's because if i don't add that my mom told me that it was going to be kind of like what you call it um dry if that makes sense but i don't know you guys will see it uh while i'm doing it um and that is what i'll be doing for iftar i'm very excited i am super hungry today um but i am so thrilled for iftar inshallah <laughs> بالإسلام دينا وبمحمد نبي ورسولنا وبمحمد I just got ready and we are off to Tarawih. After I come back from Tarawih, I am planning to do a workout. Um, we'll be talking about that later in this video. But I'm very excited to catch up with you guys and just talk about Ramadan. And I've been going to Tarawih almost every day now, alhamdulillah. There's only one day that I couldn't go. But other than that, today's going to be a week. And overall, I went six days except for one day. Um, and yeah, now let's go. I love to go to Tarawih. It's probably like my favorite time of the day. Allah, open the 
Okay, this, okay, I was waiting for this time the whole day, not gonna lie. So I will try this strawberry chocolate or chocolate strawberry, whatever you name it. But right now, I'm very excited for it. You may be like, you just did workout, so why are you having this? Um, but I just want to tell you guys or explain you guys that I am not working out or going out for walks to, you know, lose weight or be in a certain shape. No, that's not my aim. My aim is to just balance both food and movement, I guess, this Ramadan. Because I noticed that I only eat work and since I work from home, I don't like move a lot in a day um, and sleep throughout Ramadan at least. I mean, I know it, it has been only a week, but to be honest, I feel like so heavy. Like I eat a lot both in Iftar and in Sahur. So the whole day I feel lazy and, you know, I don't know, just, I, I feel heavy. So that's why I thought that I had to get back on working out, on going out for walks. So I'm feeling good so far, Alhamdulillah. It's only been like three days. Um, I've been going out for walks two nights and then this night I worked out, as you guys saw. But even if it has been like only three days, I feel really good and my body does not feel sore. That is like the best thing ever. Anyway, so let's just try this out and let's chit chat as well. I have a couple updates for you guys. Um, and yeah, Bismillah, let's do this. Mmm. Oh, that's really tasty. Mmm. It's like waffle. It literally tastes like waffle. <laughs> I usually prefer only like milk, chocolate, and strawberries on my waffle. So this literally tastes like waffle to me. Mm -hmm. Wow, that really tastes good. A cup of milk, because why not? Oh, milk is my favorite thing ever. But anyways, um, now let's get on to the updates I um, am planning to give you guys in this video. So number one is basically, I mentioned it earlier, I am back at walking and working out. So this is my schedule for this Ramadan when it comes to like working out and walking. On Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, I will be walking out um, after Tarawih. And then on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, I will be working out after Tarawih. So three days in a week, I will be working out. And four days in a week, I will be walking. I feel like this routine or schedule is perfect because I know I just can't work out every single day not only in Ramadan but like just in general I never can work out every single day and the second update is actually a very special one so this Ramadan I did something very beautiful um, and it is like very special for me so that's why I will never forget this Ramadan basically I partnered up with HCI Human Concern International to raise money for refugee families in Syria to build um, a village for them, inshallah. So our aim is to move 500 refugee families in Syria from tents to brick homes. Um, and this village not only will include like homes, but it will also include mosques, school, clinic, clinics, and markets. So it is literally like a huge campaign, y'all. It's we're, we are literally planning to build a whole village for 500 families. Like imagine every fam family has four to five members. The amount of people will be a lot, inshallah. So may Allah help us. But we just wanted to tell you that we need your help as well. I will be linking the donation link down below. So please go and click. Like even a single dollar has a big reward, especially now that we are in Ramadan. We all know that a good deed counts as double. And um, Ramadan is a month not only to fast, but it is also a month to uh, give 
to people who are in need. Charity is super important in this month. One of the biggest good deeds that have uh, an immense reward is giving to people in need. And in here, we are talking about building a village. So just imagine how big this will be. So I feel like that is amazing. Just like, okay, I'm putting down my store strawberries. Imagine how important this is. Just y'all, take a moment and think, imagine, you are just, you know, going with your average life, waking up, working, studying, having food and going back to sleep. And then you just stop in the middle of the day and you're going to be like, hey, wait, I literally built a village this Ramadan by just donating and clicking to this link and just donating. Like, that's amazing. Like, imagine you helped a whole family move from tent to homes. That is crazy, you guys. When I just imagine myself like, hey, I'm, you know, for example, I'm prepared preparing for iftar and i just stop and i'm like hey wait right now i'm helping families move from tents to homes like alhamdulillah this is so beautiful um so y'all this is literally something very big and um i am very honored to use my social media platform for such a beautiful opportunity i will be linking it down below please go and donate as i told you as i mentioned earlier even a single dollar means a lot for us i hope uh, that you will go and donate may Allah reward you if you donate it um, and even if you can't please pray so that this campaign will be successful please, please pray to those refugee families and other people who are in need may Allah help them um, and may Allah accept your rewards and grant you Jannah to for those inshallah uh, yeah that was the second update other than that coming to today's Tafakur session today's Tafakur session is not about like nature or the Another creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just about Ramadan. So I want you to hold on for a minute and ask yourself, question yourself. Compare yourself to you a week ago and you a week later, which is right now, which is the current. Because it has been a week since Ramadan came, since Ramadan arrived maybe. By the time you're watching this video, it will be like a week and a half. Uh, so yeah, just close your eyes and imagine and question yourself and compare yourself with you a week ago and you with a week later. So for example, for me, when I compare myself to a week ago, I was literally lost. So the other day I came across to this post on Pinterest or to this quote on Pinterest that said that, uh, how beautiful is it that Ramadan arrives during a time where our soul needs it the most. That quote was beautiful, it hit super hard and different for me i was like oh bro like there you go like literally the code is saying everything i should just shut up and relate on it but seriously you guys i felt like i was lost i was also having issues with my daily prayers i was just feeling so guilty and so mad at myself i was lost i was in this selfish mode lazy mode and i just didn't know what to do i even felt like i was not ready for this ramadan at all so i was like super mad at myself but then just a week later like literally seven days later i am feeling a beautiful peace in my heart like a beautiful condition of peace in my heart and plus like almost every night i go to tarawih to masjid to pray with other believers and other brothers and sisters and it just feels so beautiful you guys like i can't believe myself like a year ago, like last Ramadan, um, I would never believe when someone said that a year later, next Ramadan, you will be praying every single night in the masjid. And I would be like, hey, no way. Because I remember I was like super lazy to go to Tarawih, like to masjid and to pray. So I was always praying at home. But y'all, Ramadan is literally a month for us to question ourselves. Like just even for 10 minutes, sit down and talk with yourself. You just sit down and ask yourself, look in the mirror, like, what am I doing? Where am I going? What will be my end? And what will I do next? These questions are questions that may lead you to the right path. It may guide you to a path that you never, never, ever thought that you will be guided to, which is the straight path, Surat al-Mustaqeem, inshallah. So um, yeah, that is today's Tafarqa session. Ramadan is literally a month of peace it's the month of our holy book it's a month to update our inner self ramadan is the month to find your truest self because it was the month when the truest book came down to earth so yeah i hope you will get closer to allah this month i hope you will increase in both faith iman and knowledge yeah oh my god these are melting i have to eat these
having my last glass of water i just watched the recent clip of me drinking water but so yeah while i was having the strawberry chocolate thing i messed up a bit so that's why there's like a chocolate mark right here um but yeah i forgot to film sahur which is sad i should have filmed it but i just had rice and meat and that's literally it So what would you consider let's add it into 10 and the first five actually have to do with things that surround their ibadah that are acts of worship according to himself so he doesn't need you to increase his kingdom and he builds your home there so your sunnahs at home and a home in paradise in Rafah. apart from the obligatory prayers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will build four before dhuhr two after day's work in this dunya building your sunnah to pray is the one in the middle of the word and there's so much more rest of this reward the prophet said whoever prays the four rak'ahs 